What is up guys? I'm here with my dad today. We're gonna to be doing some fishing out of the John boat. We're at a small little lake right now. Not a very big lake at all actually. Uh, it's electric motor only, trolling motor only, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is very dingy as you can tell. Mainly fishing for bass today I guess, but last time I came here I was with Hunter and we caught our limit on crappies last summer around in the middle of July. So we might do a little bit of crappie fishing today. Um, I don't know though, it just depends. I mean, if we start getting on them, we might do some, we might focus on crappy, but right now we're gonna fish for bass and see if we can catch some in this dingy water. There's some very big fish in here, but there's not a lot of bass in here from what I've experienced myself. So uh, let's see if we can catch some, you guys. I'm gonna be throwing a spinner bait and probably a Texas rig or a jig, like black and blue or something, just because it's so dingy right now. Um, but yeah, let's go catch them. Crappy. No, it's a bass. Yep. Bass. There's one. Oh, I had one. I had one. Yep, up underneath that. I had him on. There's wood in there. We'll go hit all that shade down through there. Oh, there's a bite. Texas rig. Texas rig. Really shallow. I mean, he was touching the bank, basically. Huh. Little guy. Touching the bank. Just fishing this black and blue. Well, I think it's called Bruiser Flash. Missile baits D-bomb. 3 8 ounce tungsten weight. Um, pegged, actually. Fishing around this. Uh, these lay downs and up in this shade. It's just a lot easier to flip a pegged weight than it is an unpegged. Saw him come up and eat it. Bass are reproducing in here. All about the same size, aren't they? Yeah, hold on. Bass. Nope. Bluegill. There's one. Good one. Ah. Uh, He's all right. I thought it was better fish. I did too. I set the hook and he was wrapped around a stick back there. There we go. Yep. Oh, thought I had a bite. Oh, uh, he's got one. Uh, that's a bass. Yeah, another little bass. Where my foot? No crappy. Nope, no crappy. Oh, 
All right, I'll see you later. All right, bye. Bye. Oh. Yeah, he jumped up on the D bomb when I threw it in there. I may have just scared the fish. I don't know what I did. It's weird. Man, that was so weird. That's crazy. Never seen that before. Blew up on a Texas rig. In the grass. Yeah, I guess so. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today, boys. Gonna back in the trailer and get the boat on here. Leave a little bit early. all right you guys so we have made it back home now i caught i think we caught like a total of 10 fish or something like that out there today everything was small though i don't think we caught a single fish that was over like 14 inches but with that being said i mean we were out there for like five or six hours and we still were able to catch some fish so we didn't get skunked which i will consider a good day the water was really murky really muddy there which i'm i'm a fisherman who doesn't like i like a little bit of stain to the water i don't like it to be ultra clear but i'd say overall i would rather fish clear water over muddy water any day of the week but i threw a spinnerbait a little bit i didn't have any bites on this white and chartreuse spinnerbait i was throwing but i switched up to the d-bomb there i was throwing the little missile baits d-bomb and the bruiser flash color which is basically like a black and blue it's got black on on one side and then blue on the other side and i was throwing that on a 7.4 heavy rod with 15 pound fluoro uh 3 8 ounce tungsten weight on the front of it pegged that way it was easier to flip under those trees and skip it up underneath those trees and stuff uh, it's just easier to manage when it's pegged so that's why i was pegging that weight and then i had a four alt gamagatsu ewg hook i was fishing that bait on i like ewg hook for beaver style baits like the d-bomb um, but overall we were able to catch you know 10 fish and every single fish I caught was on that D-bomb um, You know the bites were few and far between I was I probably pitched that thing 500 600 times today Maybe more who knows I really stuck with that bait But you know we didn't catch a bunch in a single spot We didn't catch more than one fish in any given spot. I don't think uh, But you know, I mean that's how fishing goes sometimes you're not gonna catch the big ones every single time you go out I felt like I was in Williamsburg today almost catching those little ones in the pond on down there but the river is blown out right now it is very muddy uh, so I'm not gonna be able to fish a river for probably at least a week I'm hoping to fish a river a little bit before I go back to Williamsburg here in a few weeks and start my summer internship down there uh, but I'm hoping I can catch some big smallmouth for you guys also my brother and I plan on going to Smith Mountain Lake again next week so expect that video coming soon I think that should be my next video is I'll be at Smith Mountain Lake with my brother. Hopefully we can go down there and catch some big fish. Like last time I was there, I caught that four point something that you guys saw in the video. But I'm really hoping to get a bigger fish, over five at least, before I go back uh, to Williamsburg. If I could catch a five at Smith Mountain Lake, that would be absolutely insane. But enough rambling, enough rambling. I was just wanting to kind of give you guys an update of what's kind of going on and what videos you might see in the near future and where I'm at and what I'm doing. But that'll pretty much do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys wanna check out the bait I caught those fish on, I will link it down in the description below. I will also link down the line, the rod, the reel, and uh, the way, everything. I will link, I will link everything you need uh, to fish how I was fishing today down in the description below so y'all can go check out that, those things on Amazon, pick them up yourself, and do the exact same thing that I was doing in today's video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, go take someone fishing.